back to our channel, The Soren Seward Family. I'm Ivy. If you're new here, go ahead and smash that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you can be notified whenever we upload a video. Today, we will be turning this pot right here into an alcohol ink pot. I'm excited to see how it's going to come out. Being so, I have never done that with a pot before. And I decided that I would take you guys right along with me. So if you're into decorated pots, you're into DIYs, sit back, relax, and enjoy this ride. Let's get to it. Shall we? Yes, we shall. Okay, so I have my pot turning and my amazing clear cast have already been mixed and it is ready to be applied to the pot. All right, so make sure that you are wearing gloves and you have a mask whenever applying epoxy or you are around epoxy. Now with this flood coat, you wanna make sure that you have more than enough of the epoxy because when the ink gets onto the epoxy, you want it to move around, you want it to feel comfortable and get all up in the out, you know, and move it around. Once I have applied my flood coat, I am going to let it sit and settle for about five or 10 minutes, just so I can see if I need to add any more epoxy. First, I am starting off with the limeade, and it's no particular order or no right way to do this. I am just going to be dropping the limeade anywhere I feel I want it to be lime. <laughs> and next, I am going in with the blue, and then I will follow up with the pink, and then I'm going to follow up with the white eventually. So let's see how this is going to end up being. I really like the way this is turning out, but I am going to take it off the turner and sit it upside down and turn it at different angles to get the ink to move in different directions. I am going back in with the colors again to add more color. I don't want no blank spots. If I can fill it in and have the ink travel more, that is what I am doing here. Here I am still adding in more ink so I can fill in some of those white gaps. I'm also going to grab the heat gun. When you apply heat to the epoxy, it's going to cause the epoxy to move. It's going to cause the ink to move around. You don't want to apply too much heat because then the alcohol ink is going to run more than you want it to run. While it's on the spinner, it is going to move. You just have to give it time. But what I did here was hit it with the gun just for a few seconds so I could get it to move even more but be very careful the more heat the more to run and you don't want to mess up the natural design that it's going to cause so i'm going to take it off again and flip it upside down turn it around flip it upside down turn it around that is so beautiful you guys i am loving the way that it's coming out Now I am taking it and I'm flipping it upside down. And yes, I do have my finger covered. You do not want the epoxy to get on your hands, you guys. It's completely optional, but I grabbed some alcohol that I have in the spray bottle and I'm going to spray the pots with the alcohol. And you're gonna see now the ink is just gonna go in its own direction and do some more absolutely cool stuff don't overdo it with alcohol you don't want it to be just come like a mess you still want it to look like it has some type of hmm coordination or some style to it okay but spritz it with the alcohol and you'll see that it's going to do some more funky cool stuff
Okay, so we are all done here. We're gonna let this pot spend for 24 hours, you guys, and I will see you right back here. I'm gonna meet you guys in design space, and we're gonna create a design for this pot. Yes, we are. Hey guys, welcome back. Now we are over here and we are in Design Space, which is created by Cricut for you to create some amazing designs on this software. So I'm gonna type out Purple Passion. I am also gonna measure it and I'm going to pick out a font that I want this Purple Passion to look like. I want it to be cute, you know what I'm saying? So let's go over here to these fonts and see which one we're going to choose. Here I am putting the letters closer together because I want them to have that cursive look to them where they're all just one letter. And yeah, you see my Etsy stuff popping up, <laughs> sorry. But anyways, let's pay attention here people, pay attention here. So once I have them settled where I want them to be, I'm going to select all and have them become one and measure them so they can be the exact size that I need. Now let's click make it and size it on a mat where we want it to be and we are going to print this bad boy out. First, we're gonna to have to find the printer, and then we're gonna select the type of material that we are using in the Cricut. The button is going to blink. You are going to push it so it can push your mat in, and then you're gonna go back and you're gonna press the C when you are ready, which stands for Cricut, and it's going to start cutting out your vinyl. I chose purple vinyl because it is purple passion. If you guys would like to see a video on how to create letters and things like that, using the Cricut, go ahead and drop a comment down below and let me know. Now I am going to weed out the Purple Passion so we can get it on some transfer tape and put it on our pot. Oh, it's coming out so pretty, yay. So now I'm gonna use the clear transfer tape and grab my flattener so I can flatten it all down so when I peel it off, it all comes right off so it can go onto the pot, okay? Yes, it's going on. And place it where you want it and get it all good and pretty. And it is finally on, you guys. Yay! Look at that. So pretty. Purple passion. If you guys enjoyed this video and would like to see a more detailed video, give this video a thumbs up, share this video, and let me know in the comments down below. I will see you guys on the next video. Peace out.